and welcome back to the channel everyone this is michael at rbm crypto today we're gonna have some fun we're gonna be doing a speed run to show you how to set up your own darrow node and own darrow wallet using the command line interface now what this allows you to do is to have your own node running in the background that way you don't need to rely on a third party you have full security on your end to use the darrow network and then on top of that when we set up your wallet that will allow you to send receive and store darrow coins during this process, I'll also include the simple command line you'll need to use to connect your node and your wallet to the Darrow RPC bridge, which will allow you to access sites like Darrow NFTs, Darrow Dex, and other third-party applications like Darrow Dreams. All right, now with that said, let's get started. So I'm gonna hit start, and the timer is now going. I'm gonna go to my browser. We're on Darrow.io. We'll go to Downloads, Windows, Command Line Interface Wallet. Hit Download. It's going to open the wallet for me on my PC here. Can now close this. I'm going to create a file folder called Dero Demo. Throw that right there. Going to extract this into that folder. Close this. Now we have all of our programs and applications that we're going to need for our Dero wallet. Okay. So now at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a text document here. I'm going to just put this as Dero command line. And then I'm going to just go to copy this right here. I'm going to go into this text document and I'm going to paste that in. So this is going to be one of the commands that we use to start our node. So at this point, I'll just show you, I'm going to copy this, go here, hit command, and then I'm going to start this right now using the node, but we're going to use the one command called fast sync. We're going to need this only for the first time that we run our node to sync to the network I'm going to hit enter. And now it is going to sync the entire blockchain for us. As you can see there, we have now begun the sync and now we wait for this to get to 100%. And now while we wait for our node to sync to the most recent node, I'm going to go back to this notepad here and I'm going to paste in our launch command for any time we want to connect our wallet to the RPC server. And we're going to need a login for this, right? So you would just pick a username and then a password. And this will be the launch command that you use every time that you want to launch your wallet and you want to connect to the RPC bridge. Most of the time, if you're just using the send and receive, you don't need this. So you can maybe just copy this and then paste that there. So what we'll do is we'll just make this easy. So for, for running Darrow wallet with RPC bridge, use this command here. And you can change this username and password to anything that you like. That's going to be how you log into the RPC bridge and connect your wallet. So what you want to do is just, you know, use this command uh, every time you want to access your wallet uh, and not connect it to any third party website, right? So usually what, I, what we do is we have one wallet that we will store, you know, NFTs on or connect to the RPC bridge and only keep a small amount of Darrow for fees. And then the secondary wallet will be your HODL wallet where you'll have your main Darrow stack and that'll never connect to a third party website which is where you just want to hold your Darrow. So you'll just use this command right here. All right, so what we're going to do while we wait for our node to sync to the network is we're going to copy this command here and we're going to create our wallet. So what we're going to do is step one, we'll go to our applications folder where all of our command line interface apps are for our Darrow wallet. Let's go to the address again, type in CMD, paste that launch command. And now we're going to hit create new wallet, Darrow demo one, two, three, Put a random password in here for myself. Actually, sorry about that. Let's do this. All right. And now we're going to hit English. You can choose your language. And then now it's going to be our 25 word seed phrase. This is our private key. So make sure that you write down this private key on, you know, two different pieces of paper with pen and store them in safe locations. Never make a digital copy because that can be hacked. So at this point, what you've done is you've created the wallet. You have your private key and now what we need to do next is we need to actually register the wallet on the network so right now we've created the wallet but we haven't synced to the network yet as you can see it's zero zero and account unregistered so at this point what we're going to do is we're going to have to wait for our node to fully sync to the network before we can actually register our wallet address so we have our wallet here and then we also have our node here right so this is the first step of two steps for syncing and fast syncing your Darrow node. Once this gets to 50%, it'll pause and it'll start bootstrapping phase two. 
once step two is done, it'll be fully synced to the most recent node. And then we'll be able to register our wallet to be able to send and receive Darrow. Now at this point, we are currently, let's just take a look. We're about eight minutes in to the process here. And what this is going to do now is this process of bootstrapping is going to probably take about another 15 to 20 minutes to do this. So what I'll do is I will just sit here and wait for this to complete and I'll get back to you when we are ready for next steps. Okay, so we're now at 17 minutes and you can see that our bootstrap has begun step two and this will be the lengthiest part of the process of setting up our node. Once step two is completed, we will be fully synced to the most recent block on the Darrow network and we'll be able to register our new wallet on the blockchain. That way we can send and receive Darrow coins. And then once that's completed, I will show you how to actually set up your RPC bridge using that command line that I showed you earlier in this video. All right, so let's just wait for this to complete and I will see you for next steps. All right, and we are back and you can see here that step two is now just being completed and you can see that we have now synced to the most recent block on the Darrow blockchain. We are currently at one hour and 21 minutes. So I'm not too sure if speed run is the right word for this video, but this is gonna be the most accurate representation of how long it would take for you to sync your Darrow node and create your wallet uh, using the fast sync setting. So what we're gonna do now, as we can see that we're just basically catching up you know, to these final blocks, I think we're about 200 away right now, is we're gonna head back on over to our wallet and you can see now that we are connected to our node and we are syncing to the most recent block. Now, once this is done, this will go from a cream color to completely green. And then when we are completely green, we will be able to be synced to the most recent block and we can then register our wallet. So now you can see that we've hit the most recent block. Our node has gone green and now our wallet is just catching up. And basically at this point, what we can do is just hit the number four key, which is to register our account on the blockchain. So we'll hit number four. And you can see now that it's creating the transaction and this will take a couple of minutes as you can see now the text id is out and basically at this point what you're going to do is just wait a couple more minutes now for your wallet to register on the network and then once this is done this will also turn green and there you have it the wallet is now registered completely green and now we are completely ready to rock and roll so our node is completely synced you will only have to do this once, not every single time, obviously. So it's a one-time setup. And at this point, what we can do now is just hit the stop button. So about an hour and 23 minutes. And that was pretty much as fast as I could go. Maybe I could shave off a few more minutes, but basically all we're waiting for really is the node to sync to the most recent block using fast sync. Now, if you wanted to sync the entire node from start of the blockchain without using fast sync, that would probably take you about a week to do at this point. So to do that, all you would do is instead of launching with a command, you would just double click the Darrow D, your node, and it would start from zero. What we did is we just skipped that. So it basically fast forwarded us to the most recent node and now we're ready to use our node and we're ready to use our wallet. So at this point in your wallet here, you can see if you just hit number one, it'll split, display your account, account address. And this is where you can now deposit your Darrow to and this will be your wallet address moving forward. If you wanna learn how to send and receive, you can view one of my previous videos. I will put that in the description of this video and I will link it at the end of the video as well. That way you can follow some of those most uh, more uh, recent tutorials where I show you how to send and receive. At this point, what I'll do now is I'm going to close both and I'm gonna head back on over to the folder in which I have my wallet and all of my applications for my wallet and you can see now our wallet file is here and now at this point if we just go back to our notepad what we're going to do this time is i'm going to show you basically what you would do is if you wanted to connect to the rpc bridge when launching both so all you needed to do is go into your folder obviously we have in the background here you would just copy this command this is going to run your node so just cmd enter nodes ready to rock minimize that now we go back to our notepad again. And now this is where we're gonna take our launch command to connect to the Darrow RPC bridge. So at this point, we'll go back here, CMD again, paste. You can see now that RPC server is the command and then login is right now just username and password is password. So you can change this to anything you want. 
obviously it's advisable to do that way it's secure for myself in this demo i'm just gonna leave it as is i'm gonna hit enter and i'm gonna open my wallet just by hitting one darrow demo one two three put in my password we're completely ready to go here and now you can see that when i actually launch this it's saying username is username password is password so now if we go to a web browser where i have the rpc bridge you can see now that the daemon rpc is connected to my node this is what you'll need to have typed in the rpc bridge to connect because it is the same machine it's just the local ip address i'll just leave that there so you guys can see this it's 127.0.0.1 and then 10102 and that's just http now for the wallet host they can see it again it's localhost and it's 10103 and now this is where i would type in username and password and i can just hit set and now you can see that my wallet has connected i have zero darrow in my account right now if i were to deposit some darrow this would update and it would show and reflect my balance so that's how to basically set up a wallet in your node from scratch in a speed run of less than an hour and a half kind of a speed run but still very quick as opposed to actually downloading the entire blockchain which would take about a week to do at this point and i've also shown you how to after creating your wallet and syncing your node to connect to the rpc bridge with both ips in here i will put both of these in the description of the video as well and i will see you all on the next video thanks for watching take care